My tiles have arrived. Oh my gosh, how am I going to get this inside? Hey guys, how are you doing? I have to whisper a little bit because I just put the kids to sleep. My tiles are here, they've arrived today. And I just thought what better time than the present to at least start prepping the walls and getting ready for tiling. Um, and well, when I mean prep, I mean just like measure out the walls, locate where all my tiles are going to go, just figure all of that out. I'm actually going to start with the wall tiles first because they're smaller and I feel like they're easier to manage and I can imagine it's going to be quite messy. So I wouldn't want to get the full tiles messy if I was to do the full first. So yeah, so I, you guys have seen my tiles already, but I have like boxes and boxes. I have about 800 of these um, tiles. And I'm going to start with the biggest wall first, which is this wall behind me. Because um, I feel like if I can tackle the biggest wall, then I swear, then I bet I can do the rest. Um, I still have a major, more well, minor issue, which is that my walls aren't completely leveled. They're like leveled ish but there's still some parts that dip a little bit and i think it's the walls in the entire house because when i was even doing my step paneling it was extremely difficult because the walls on my the walls everywhere actually were like a bit wobbly and um even though the walls are plastered as you can see they're really plastered they're still like not 100 percent. so i'm really gonna take my time with this like i said First time ever, I never tiled before, never used tiling. I've literally been watching lots of videos and really educating myself over the last month. It took about three weeks for the tiles to come. So I've really been trying to educate myself and learn and I'm gonna just take it slow and just pray for me, pray that it goes well. These tiles were not cheap and I really don't wanna mess it up. My husband literally doesn't believe in me really. Well, he believes in me, but not really. So I really wanna prove him wrong, but yes. So this is end of day one. I've only been able to do this for like 45 minutes really. Um, I actually used too much adhesive, so my adhesive started to harden. I was gonna get some more, but it's really, really late. It's um, past midnight and I have so much things I need to do tomorrow. So I thought I'll park this before I get too excited and ruin it. Um, and please, it's all straight and leveled, which I'm happy with. I've used the laser level, which has been very, very helpful. So. Hopefully tomorrow, now that I've got my the swing of things, I can complete this wall. Hopefully. But yeah, it's a bit messy and dirty, but I'll have a clean of that later. So this is day one. So I've almost finished this wall, which is getting tiled completely. I have a toilet that's going here, but it's... um. A wall hung toilet um, and I'm gonna box it in around so I don't know whether well I'm not gonna tile this area yet I think I'm gonna wait until I fit my toilet and then I'll tile on top of the box in um, but I'm gonna see if I can tile from at least halfway up so at least I get most of the top done so I'm trying to the aim is to try and get as much of the wall done that I don't need to cut now because obviously the bottom might need to be cut a little bit and the side i didn't do you know what i'm so bad i didn't actually measure it correctly i measured the width of the whole wall but i didn't take it into account this insert so on this side there's still a little bit of a gap that i'm gonna have to fill but it's really small so thank goodness my tile is small but it's definitely less than half of the tile um width so yeah, just hope that I'm able to cut that accurately and just fill that nicely. Hopefully that will be quite seamless. I'm going to show you from this angle. So I'm just outside my door. So yeah, 
So this is it so far. It looks good. Hi everyone, how are you doing? Um, so this is day two of tiling. So far I have almost completed the wall behind me. Um, I haven't fully completed it yet because I basically want on this side, I don't know if you can see maybe that I want to, um, basically, I don't know whether I want a wall hung toilet or a, just like a regular toilet. And if I was to get a wall hung toilet, that means it has to be boxed in and then tiled on top. So I'm not tiling that area yet until I've bought my toilet, until I figured out what toilet I want. But yeah, I have basically, it's just all depending on the budget. I have a set amount to spend on all like the furnishing and um the wall hung kind of puts me a little bit over but i really 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 want it and you know it's one of those things that like if you don't get it you're going to end up looking back and regretting and be like oh, i wish i got it so yeah i think i'm going to get it and but i have to um yeah i have to basically insert the frame onto the wall and um, box it in and then tile over the box in so i'm hoping to do that myself fingers crossed it all works out obviously in terms of the plumbing plumbing the toilet and stuff i'm going to get a um, a, um, a tradesman to come and plumb the toilet but just in terms of fitting the wall hung toilet to the wall etc i'm going to try to get myself and boxing it in so i'm going to wait um it might take a few days for me to actually tile that part of the wall but anyways, I've also already started tiling this part of the wall. So this is actually where the shower is going to be hung. There's a space in between there. That's where I just have to do some cuts and um, insert another smaller piece there. Um, yeah, so I'm basically doing as much as I can without doing any cuts. So without needing to cut, I'm going to just tile as much as I can today. And then tomorrow, I'm going to start doing the cuts and kind of finishing things up a little bit. So I just will need to finish this wall, which is almost done. I'm about halfway done. And also do this wall behind me. And then I'll mostly be finished. I actually thought it would take me weeks to finish this wall. And I'm so proud that it's actually not taking me that long. I think I've kind of mastered doing it quite quickly, um, working on like you know, uh, putting together or mixing, sorry, a small amount of ad adhesive at a time and just kind of getting it on the wall as quick as possible. That's kind of my strategy. But um, I'll show you a little bit. So this wall is actually the perfect wall. This wall, I did it first because this wall was a bit wobbly. So I had to put, basically I had to put some adhesive, more adhesive on some tiles and less on others just to make sure it kind of looked presentable. But I think it turned out okay. Um, the wall here where the shower is going to go is kind of a bit of both. It's a bit tricky. Some parts are quite flat and leveled. Some parts aren't, but I think it's turned out quite fine. And this wall's perfect. So this wall is completely flat, completely leveled. There's absolutely like, it's just a beautiful wall. Um, so I'm going to basically do this as quick as, I, as quick as I can and just run through this wall. Um, try to get it done as quickly as I can. Also, I need some tile trims. I bought a tile trim and I'm just so silly to not having to look at tile trims before I bought it, but it was it just didn't work. It was just horrible. So it was this one with the rounded edge. And yeah, it just wasn't for my tiles. I needed something, I need like a T-shape T tiled, I think that's what it's called. Um, so I'm gonna go B and Q on Monday to see if I can get some more tile trims. So in so yeah, because of that, so I'm not gonna actually do any of the edges yet either. So it's gonna it's gonna be completed but unfinished and all the little cut like quirks and stuff will be worked on. But yeah. Yeah, I'll just show you how I tiled this wall.
thought of tiling, I'm about, um, let's say, 75% of the way in terms of tiling the wall tiles. I still have a little bit left, which I'll show you in a second. Um, I have a little bit left to do, but what I'm trying to do is do as much, um, put as much tiles on the wall without needing to cut them. And then uh, tomorrow, my son's at nursery, so it gives me lots of time to try and cut as much and fill out all the gaps. But um, I'll just show you what I'm doing now. Um, it actually looks really good. Obviously, it's really messy. I still need to um, wipe all the tiles and clean it, but you get the gist of kind of how it's looking just by this. So this is the end of day eight, how the walls look. Some of the tiles are a little bit dirty. Um, but yeah, this is how the walls look right now. So I don't know if you can see, this is the wall that is not perfect, like, but it's like not great, it's really bad actually. Um, but I guess, I think it's only one row that is bad. I don't know if you can see, is this row, this wall, oh, my fingers. I think it's well, maybe not one more, maybe three rows. Um, but that's where the shower's gonna go. So I'm guessing the shower's probably gonna hide it or um and in terms of this section, I really wanted what I'm going to do, uh like a um wall hung toilet. So I'm gonna actually create a box for it. So I'm just waiting for my frame to arrive so I can actually put it through. I don't know if you can see the line over there as well. I've kind of mapped out where I want it to be. Um, I didn't want to kind of tile the top half in case if I just misalign it, which is kind of the mistake I made here. I just started tiling in a different way than I did for this wall, for example. And this wall looks quite neat and, um, and straight. And so does this one as well. It looks quite neat and straight. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm bound to make mistakes. This is just a mistake I've made. And I've learned a lot from this. Um, so hopefully, um, I'm basically today, I'm going to finish all these gaps. So fill in all these gaps here, fill in all these gaps, all these gaps all along here. I have my towel trim that I'm going to cut to um, fill all the bits around the windows. Um, and yeah, and that's it. But this is kind of how it's looking so far. And if I must say so myself, I've literally saved about £2,000 in doing this myself, so I'm bound to make mistakes.